You know, um, it, it, it's very uh, unusual that two companies who are very dissimilar, like our company, Express Group, and the almighty Shipstead. Now the Shipstead is gone from the Baltics. I, could, I can really appraise them. I didn't do this while they were here. Shipstead, of all the Scandinavian companies, which I know very well, Politik and Helsinki, Sanomat, Aftenbladet, Aftenposten, I know them. Shipstead is the best. They are the keenest. They've got the best analytics. They, are, they participate in, uh, in more than 30 countries. They do, they do uh, advertising. They do classified business with a, with, with a profitability rate of 40% per turnover because it's also a robot business. They are good. I'm so happy they left. I'm relaxed. So uh, it, it just happened that, uh, okay, and there's a difference in between uh, the, this Norwegian company, a giant in our context, and, and uh, our small experts group, is that we are very much in favor of those things. We think that tab tablet computers and something in between the tablet and the, the mobile handset will be the future. Ships that detest tablet computers, so they, they didn't sell, uh, they, did, they, they didn't s not start to sell digital subscriptions. They didn't form their own tabloid platform and they gave us an advance of 10,000 paid subscribers for our daily newspaper Eesti Päevalet and 9,000 paid subscribers of Eesti Express Weekly, my pet, which has been given name to our experts group. So we are different, but in one way we're similar. The model of making money. If you take, um, if you take uh, the EBITDA, which is equity before interest and amortization, of course, of, of Express Group, it's around eight and a half million euros, supposedly, this year, out of which six and a, and a quarter is coming from where? What do you think? The printing, commercial printing. We've got the commercial printing plant, which is the, the heart of our investments. It's a, it's a very well organized plant. And the trick is that now as the pr printed circulations diminish in, in whole Scandinavia, uh, you get uh, customers who don't need 200,000 anymore. And to start a large machine to print 200,000, you waste a lot of newsprint paper. So they come, they come rather to us because our circulations is, are, are like 60,000 printed per, per uh, hour. And the same happens with my competitors uh, in Tartu. They also, as a heart of their, uh, their operation, they have a very healthy printing plant. So our printing plants are, are turning money with a profitability rate in between 15 and 20 percent. This is Scandinavian record. So while the printing industry might be arguably dying, we are now emerging from the dying ashes, or what you call it, to be more dramatic. That's one of our, our tricks. The other thing is, is regular, and it's primitive, as the previous one was. The companies who are investing now, uh, the, the companies who, who came from Scandinavia, which was a big shock to me, when the Bonnier company came from Scandinavia to establish a net of those pink business papers, I thought that we are finished. They, they got their uh, Swedish kroon, or Svenska kroon, or how they name their currency. They've got pink Volvos, and we've got rubles, and those, those lousy, lousy ladas that we thought that they are going to start their own TV channel, their own business paper, their own uh, uh, gossip paper. They, they didn't do this. Fortunately, Swedes are very cautious investors, fortunately. But what they also didn't do is investing into their real estate. I'll tell you, life is not just. During hard times, and it's been mainly hard times in, in media lately, I have seen that a house, a premise, rises in its value without any work done. And the, then you get an editorial staff of, let's say, 120 people plus marketing. You are fighting. You are chasing editors. They are fighting back. They are leaving. Lots of nerves wasted, not making profit. And then the premises in which they are situated, let's, like this one. The premises of media companies, if they choose to buy them, the no, no, Norwegians didn't, ships that didn't. Bonnier did, the Mokosala, famous, the only cash, cash creating facility they have, I guess, at Dena. So uh, this was a big help. 
I was, uh, we, we got almost into a suicidal situation, 2007, when, when we decided to purchase uh, Delphi, and then all of a sudden this international crisis began, and we had to, to find ways to prolong the loans with our banks, and I, I would have been dead, at least financially, if I didn't have those premises. So we, we mortgaged those premises as a guarantee to, to the banks. We prolonged the loan, and, and here I stand. Normally, when a new model comes, and that's, that's the, the end of my presentation, we don't see it. I remember two guys with, with uh, long hair from Tartu City entering our, our staff rooms in, at Express Group and, and propo proposing us. The proposal was like this. It's the Express. It, oh, those times were so nice. It was a thick newspaper, weekly newspaper, full of classified ads of cars, houses, full of uh, human resource ads. Sweet times. They proposed us to, to make a deal. They would take a car, commercial advertising, car uh, classified advertising to the internet and share the profit with us. And we have to share our, our paper advertising. We turned them down. We told them, you, you have nothing. And East Express has all of it. And now we have nothing and they have all of it. And they sold it to Helsinki Sanoma, the Finnish giant for at least uh, 100 million Estonian kroners. So, I'm a fool, I must admit. I've been making mistakes, grave mistakes. But I, I can also say that every one of my colleagues in Chicago Tribune, in Le Mans, in the same Helsingin Sanomat made the same mistake. They pushed the young guys out of the door, telling that they have something. So, next time I tried to be wiser, we saw the free sheet economy approaching. The famous free sheet of Metro of Sweden showed the way. Sorry. <laughs>